After showing you the features of the XP Batia, I'm now introducing you to the XP Gold Pan. The XP Pans are designed with large riffles for the first classify, mini riffles allowing a higher level of separation between sand and gold, and the snakeskin texture for the finish. The pan is supplied with two overlapping classifiers, one 10mm mesh classifier and one 5mm mesh. You simply need to give them a quarter of a twist to set them up. To get them ready for use, place them above your pan. Now I'm going to show you how to use this setup with a demonstration. Here is your XP pan with the two overlapping classifiers set up, and now we're going to start classifying. Softly float some water and start sieving, holding the three products together. This will allow in one step a double sieving with the 10 mm mesh and the 5 mm mesh. If you are somewhere you know there are gold nuggets, I would advise you double check inside the 5 mm mesh to make sure you don't throw any gold away. Now we have got sand inside the pan. Make sure the large riffles are in front of you. Use your fingers to settle the sand and gravel. This will clean out your content and set free the gold particles. Get rid of the water and place some new water in the pan. Unlike the XP Batia, the pan doesn't have the defragmenter, therefore you can use your fingers for this setting. There you go. Once you have cleaned out the gravel, grab the pan from each side and shake from left to right. Incline your pan and float water in and out without moving the bigger pieces of your contact. The sand will naturally go when the water washes out of the pan. Repeat this move five times and shake out the pan. And start again. Incline slightly and let the water in and out. So it is really the lightest sand we are getting rid of. The heaviest sand will stay deep inside your pan or will get grabbed by the riffles. Just like the XP Batia, the pans and classifiers are blue, which is the complementary color with yellow. Therefore, you cannot miss gold particles as they are really going to stand out. The blue makes it easier for you to find gold than the other colors you can find on the market. So, at this stage, make sure your content is at the back well inside your pan. Then turn the pan in order to start using the mini riffles that will help us for the finish. This classifying process will keep getting rid of sand and capture the gold. Very smoothly, repeat the classifying moves. The XP Gold Pan is comfortable for beginners to use because it is easier to gather the gold together and avoid throwing away some of it by mistake. The pan movements are easier to control than the batia. Now, you can choose two options for the final steps to help isolate the gold. The safer one, float water around your content, keep the pan straight while moving it back and forth. Slightly incline your pan with your selection being on top and softly send the water over it to grab the sand. The sand goes down when the gold is staying on top. So that's what I was saying, this method is safer. Here, there is a little gold particle rolling down. The problem with gold particles, they can easily roll down. You can push the gravel away now. Here, you have the gold that stayed on top and the sand down the pan. You see there's a tiny bit of gold coming down with the sand, however every particle will stay on top so you can collect them. The second option is to use the snake skin, designed to grab gold and let the sand go. So let all the sand down on the side in front of the snake skin. 
we go back in the water, here the sand will slide out the pan. And the gold particles will get grabbed. Slightly shake your pan. As you can see here, the snake skin is really efficient. Here, I'm getting rid of this last rock. Now, we only have the gold left. 